Hi guys, welcome to the ConocoPhillips Math Lab here at the Children's Museum. I am Jen, I am the math educator here. And I'm Allie, the life science educator. And we are going to be going over a really fun activity that you can do at home that includes math, which is super fun and we love so much. Yes! So um, all you need to do this activity are you need some cups, you need some paper to be able to write points on your cups, and then you need something that you can throw. We're going to use pom-poms because we like pom-poms, but you can use a penny, you can use a cotton ball, or anything small that you can find at home. And what we are going to do is we are each going to get three pom-poms and we are going to throw them into the cups that we have set up here. We're going to be counting our points that we get and the first person to get 25 points is the winner! Woo! Ding, Allie, ding, ding, ding! Allie, you want to try this with me? Yes, I do. Right, Thank oh, you. I'm going to let you pick your own pom-poms. Okay, I'm going to get a big one and then two small ones. So two blue, one yellow. All right, I'm going to get three pom-poms too. And then we're going to go ahead and take turns tossing the pom-poms into the cups and adding up our points. All right, Allie, you go first. Okay, I'm going to aim for the six. Oh, oh so close! Oh! <gasps> oh yes, the ten! <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and tally up Allie's points. So I got eight points. Eight points. So let's go ahead and make tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But you also got more, right? Right. I have ten. Ten. So let's keep counting. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, Allie, you have a lot of points. Do you want to count up your total with me? Yes, I do. And because I have that tally slash, that means I can count by five. Right, she can skip count. So let's do it together. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wow, eighteen points. That's great. That means I am. 19, 20, plus 5 is 7 points away from winning. Oh my gosh, that is so close. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take my turn. Do you want to move your pom-poms? Yes. Take it out of the, the top, most numbered cup. There we go. All right, so I hope I get close to 18 points. Dang it. Oh. <laughs> cups which means that I have zero points and Allie is definitely winning. Now we could continue playing until we get 25 points um, but you can do this at home as well. And you don't actually have to go to 25. You can change the numbers up. You could go to 10 if you wanted to play for a shorter amount of time or 150 if you want to play for a very long time. That's right. So when we play this game like this we are working on our addition and our counting and being able to compare different quantities. But if we want, do you think we can make this harder? I think we can make this more difficult, yes. So if we wanted to make this more difficult, we could actually, instead of adding the numbers together, we could multiply. So let's say I got a pom-pom in the two cup and I also got a pom-pom in the three cup. I would, instead of adding two plus three to get five, I could multiply two times three to get six. One more point. Fantastic. I could also change the numbers to be decimals or fractions if I wanted to practice those. Do, I, do you think we can make this a little bit less complicated? I think we can. So if you want to play with a toddler or somebody younger, you could use numbers one through five or you could number each cup with a number one and then do one to one counting for however many pom-poms you get into the cups. Awesome, thank you Jen, this is such a fun activity. I'm so excited to keep playing. I think I'm gonna have to work hard to challenge Allie to get her points. Okay, thanks for coming, bye! bye.